can we take one definition of the field why we need the list field so uh, customer we are getting the construction request and uh, we are uh, also selecting the type and date state and also um, property owners uh. can we say property owners maybe owner or owners let's say i am buying a new site so who are the custom who are the owners of that okay multiple sites multiple uh, buildings will have their like let's say i am constructing a new request okay or i am remodeling it owners owner information can we capture that customer will be the owner not always mm -hmm. now maybe i have so much of money i will uh, ask uh, these people to buy a home for my son my 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 son or my daughter or mm -hmm. my brother so the owner would be that person customer customer may be the person who requested it okay something like that okay sir maybe your point is right in this or maybe we can give like uh, people uh, like uh, uh, groups of people like architects or or engineers or okay so okay property yeah. card inspection Ad team yeah. yeah 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 okay let's say i'll say uh, administrators Uh, maybe that administrators means uh, who are taking care of this particular request okay mm -hmm. so once we once we create a ticket the company will allocate two three people okay for this request where they will completely taken care from scratch to end okay so administrators see here list type i am creating a list type of field okay i am just saving it once it won't allow maybe it should not allow or it is, if it allows also we need to add something okay So now I created a list, okay. But main important thing is the list is referencing to which, which table, okay. I didn't select any, na. So let's see how it is showing. Actually, it should be a mandatory field. So administrators, and when I see the lookup, okay, lookup doesn't come. When I sell, uh, if I don't select a lookup, it didn't come, okay. But if I select a lookup. I selected the lookup from where it needs to get the values. Okay, so the lookup will get you. The lookup will be enabled, and you can start selecting the things from this one. Okay, maybe for my request, this person is the administrator, or it have multiple administrator. Two people are there who are the both are taking care of my request. Okay, these people will uh, take the things from. start and they will be there till end okay so this till this point clear ma yes is others yes sir everyone ma srinagar you are able to follow me and please confirm srinagar garu can you uh, tell me uh, like how to you made the list and the admission the list the list part only can you tell me again which list ma that you created yeah yes you created uh, right nothing yeah. no. type list i took it instead of reference instead of choice no type i took list okay okay and uh, i just uh, selected this table from where we are referencing okay. right right now okay. mm -hmm. right good question so uh, when if you observe something na no? okay maybe i'm i'm removing this table here under reference i am removing it okay just observe this one this is another behavior of list okay save it right and observe here the list field okay so the list now there is no reference table attached so that is why the lookup is not coming here but by default list is a choice type of field so see if you go here okay i there is no table attached okay and also you have something where you can select the choices so see here choices are there you can create choice so let's say i create five choices okay the five choices will come as a choices here okay this is one behavior of list no i don't want choices but i want the values to pick up from my table 
okay then you need to reference it so either way you can use it you are you are getting it now everyone yes yes, okay. yes sir you just practice this one both maybe you can create two fields one with the reference options one with choice options okay then see how the list is coming okay that may be one practice practice thing for you but for our requirement anyway we already uh, discussed like this is what we wanted so i am just selecting the table reference so that i can select the administrators from table right so this is one thing okay now it is allowing yeah fine right so now till this point what we seen creating a list okay and the list can be a choice type or list list can be a reference type that's it now fine yes or no ha yes sir okay so now see when i create a record okay this is very very important ma okay whatever i am going to show now okay this is very important please uh, notice it okay i am in a record okay and I, we have something called an option show xml so xml is a kind of option where okay in the back end na this data the this particular uh, recorded data will store in this format okay or maybe we can see this data the recorded data in an xml format okay and it shows everything everything in the sense all the fields generally uh, here generally created is not there created on is not there updates not there okay sys id not there right but i want to see i want to see where when it is created how many updates okay so normally developers will see from see the things from here show xml okay show xml list you all the values of the record all the values not only the value that you are seeing in the form or a list view but all the values this is one thing first thing show xml option clear ma is everyone clear yes sir hmm. second thing is okay the list type how the list type of field will store the data so this is list type right so this is the one you request administrator request administrator na this is what we selected this is our field okay and if you see the value okay maybe let's let's step back okay if you just observe it created by admin created on okay the value sys id the value okay the black color one is the value okay and uh, this one is a column name right and now you can see all the values you active true okay and uh, the customer name sys id and display name right and email id so this is fine right everyone you got it right how the values are showing here you are clear yes no please confirm yes sir everyone shila garu pratibha garu sindhu garu prashanti garu srinu garu yeah so the values now you can see like this okay so for few request type nothing okay group nothing so no value so see here somewhere if you see group is empty assign to is empty so if you don't have any value it will not show anything handling group handling group is empty it doesn't have any value so no value okay so this is how you can see the values also developers generally use this particular show xml in order to uh, read the back end names of the fields and also the name uh, the, the value of the field and all okay keep this option and start using this option show xml first thing second thing is if you observe it okay this is what our main point here is okay if you observe it right the field request administrator the value that i selected here how it is capturing right so it is sorry it is it is it is it is it is, it is, it is. okay so this is the value this is the value it is capturing so if you see it this is the field name this is the end field name okay so let's remove it okay and this is the field name let's say enter okay so the value is okay a sys id comma another sys id comma another sys id again comma another sys id 
okay if it is choice value space value comma value comma value comma value comma value so the five records that i selected their sys id is separated by comma this is how the list type of field will store the data right nama is that clear yes sir yes okay and wherever we see this kind of format we call it as array what is an array anyone knows about it something goes on column array ma it's not table array can you repeat that maybe i didn't get the answer arrangement of rows and columns sir arrangements arrangement of rows and columns no ma that comes like a table okay so arrangement is maybe fine but not rows and columns some values okay array means okay defining something so see coming back to some scripting concept and all maybe check the most javascript videos na in that there is a separate concept for array okay maybe you can refer later when you have time but array generally we use to uh, store arrangement order sir order order yeah arranging similar kind of objects this is the definition of an array okay let's say simple thing simple thing you have five uh, five items okay you want it's not arranging okay it's also kind of arranging but not uh, group of i can say array, array is a array is a group of similar kind of object arranging is something like a pattern a group of maybe i can say the group can be any order okay there would be no specific rule of arrangement so this would be more uh, correct definition ma has per my knowledge okay so let's say you have something okay so uh, you are you need to group them you are arranging them so you will arrange it like i have okay what are the things i have it okay maybe in your fridge you have cool drinks right so you have pepsi okay and you have uh, thumbs up okay you have maja something something thumbs so three three cool drinks you have it okay now cool drinks if you have a field called cool drinks and if you want to define what value you have okay this is how you 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 will get it you will get it the values like this is that clear ma yes no please confirm yes sunday right so for now this is why this is how i can explain an array but when it comes to scripting na we need to know little bit like how we read it how we use it okay how we can push it okay so there are three actions we can discuss but i am not discussing all of them okay if i uh, if i discuss maybe this main plot will be deviated okay our main plot is simple okay list field will store the values in this format and it will be also called an array format that's it right clear this last statement is clear yes or no please confirm ma yes